Good morning. Good morning, everyone. How are you this morning? I can't believe it is Friday again, and I am back for my Facebook Friday Live here in my stamping room. I am Carolyn Benny, and I come into your Facebook homes every Friday and share some card making tips with you. Um, Stampin' Up! card making tips and uh, card making tips in general. So I hope you can stay with me this Friday because we're making a card that I've been looking forward to getting this stamp set and look, I feel like my glasses are crazy. Um, hey April, how are you? Um, I've been really, since I first spied the new Stampin' Up! annual catalogue, um, I have saw, I saw the stamp set straight away and I loved it straight away. I don't know why. Normally I'm a bird girl, but this is a fish, right? So that's really weird for me, but there is something about these, these fish. Now, I had to be told by my children that they were called koi fish and I just thought that they were large goldfish so what do I know but they're absolutely stunning and it's in this stamp set called all the good things there's a bonsai tree as well so it's very Japanese inspired beautiful positive sentiments which you know I champion if it's a positive sentiment, I'm all over it like a rash. Um, I just feel like there cannot be enough positive happiness in the world. And these are beautiful. They say some really lovely things. Um, so I'm excited to make this card with you today. Um, we're going to be doing a little bit of watercolour wash. We're going to be doing a little bit of stamping. We're going to be using the Stamparatus. If you haven't got your hands on your Stamparatus yet, you will be um, desperate to get one of these soon. Hey Jenny, hello from Bendigo. <laughs> How are you? It's Koi. They're called Koi, are they? Oh, did I say Kai? Mm, I probably did. I think I've got, I've got a little friend who's called Kai. Maybe that's why. Koi. Okay. Are you ready to start stamping? I think we probably should. I suppose you want to see the card first, right? I gave you a little tease yesterday on my Facebook page. Um, but here is the full card that we're going to be making. I did say it right. Oh, good. Thank you. Morning, Amanda. How are you, sweet? Um, so this is the card. It's, oh, it's kind of very watercolory, it's very kind of ethereal. Um, it, is, it is right down my alley. I, I love watercolor washes. I love these beautiful colors together. <gasps> Bermuda Bay, but still my heart. These are beautiful colors. So I hope you're gonna have fun making this card with me today. Remember to share my um, my video while I'm here live so as many people can come and see me stamping live as possible because it's more fun when you get to chat and join in um, and uh, say lots of comments ask lots of questions that's what I'm here for that's what being live and me being accessible is all about all right I'm gonna flip you guys over and we're gonna start making this card together all right okay let me I'm just gonna Plug. Normally I do this once I've flipped, but there you go. You saw the 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 earbud being flipped. Okay, so hey, back to front catalog. Now let's have a looky. That's a bit. I've got my '80s music playing in the background today. I don't know how it got unplugged, but it did. And I think we've all missed it. I think we need more 80s music in the background. Okay, so the other thing that I've got going today is my heated knee rug. I do love me a heated knee rug. It is freezing here where I am in the Adelaide Hills. It's so cold today. It is raining, 
it's miserable outside it is the perfect day for car baking all right i am ready to rock and roll say hello as you come on in ladies i or gentlemen gosh i'd love some more gentlemen where are all the gentlemen hmm? that's what we want to know okay so let's have a sticky bit. Hey Jodie, how are you? You're, oh gosh, you're sticky today. That's no good. That's no good at all. Hey Linda from Arizona, lovely to see you. I sent you, I hope you got my email I sent you last night. Okay, so here is the Stampin' Up! catalogue. As you can see, I've got a million little tabs and tags. I need to go and get it covered at Officeworks yet. I'm finding it hard to get to the city these days. Let me um, show you the stamp set in the catalogue. It's on page 151 and as you can see here it's it's a stunning stamp set. They give us a few different options or ideas down here as well. I got mine in the clear mount set which means that you um, adhere it to either a block. Oops my my cat is way over here. So you either adhere it to blocks like so, or you can use it in the Stamparatus too. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, but you can also get this one in wood mount. Okay. Hey Hazel, how are you this morning? Um, so there's a few different ways you can get it. Now, what is so interesting about this set is if you have a look in the catalog, it's got this little orange star and it's called Dist Distinctive distinctive um, <clears throat> I don't know why I've got a little frog in my throat let me just have a quick sip and I'll be back for a second I've got a cough <coughs> <clears throat> sorry about that lovelies goodness me okay <clears throat> I don't I don't even have a cough so why am I coughing that's bizarre so if you have a look at the back of your catalogue it gives you a little bit more of an insight about what distinctive stamps are all about. So basically, the nuts and bolts of it is with one stamped image, it the ink catches the stamp um, to differing amounts. So instead of getting a really flat stamped image, you get a lot more texture. On these stamps it's quite amazing what they can actually do just with one stamp so <clears throat> I think one of the ones that really shows it up the best is on the stylish Christmas stamp on page 101 so I'll just flip over to that and see whether you can see this well on the video or not but if you see here see how on this image here some of it is dark and some of it looks like it's layered and some of it looks like it's light but all in all there's just a lot of texture on that image well that's what the distinctive stamps are all about so much texture some places the ink will be dark some places it will be lighter um, and it's just really clever because just with one ink pad you can get an amazing um, effect really from just one ink pad and one stamp. So let me show you all about that on our card. So I'll put this down here and I'll let you guys have a close-up sticky beak of the card. Let's bring this in for you. There we go. So the first thing that we're going to do is stamp on these uh, koi fish, which, like I said, was probably the thing that drew me to the stamp set straight away. I definitely will pay with the bonsai. Um, I think that's going to be a really cute stamp as well. But it was the fish that hooked me in to this stamp set. So there's actually two fish. Um, you don't need to use them both, but I just thought it's it's fun to do that. And I've already popped them onto my Stamparatus, so you don't have to watch me grapple with you know placement that kind of thing. So the Stamparatus is a is pretty cool. It's a positioning tool. So if you want to make like I'll be making a stack of cards shortly um, for swaps that I need to do. 
and that will be awesome because I'll just be able to cut up all my cardstock and just pop it, um, do one after the other, stamp, 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 and it'll be perfectly placed exactly the same spot over and over again. Here I've lined up my little fish. I'm going to call them fish because this koi business is, is too tricky for me to continue to um, try and make that work. Um, so, hey Robbie, how are you? Um, so, I, um, I've already positioned them. Okay, I've already made a, a card already, so I've positioned them and I've also given myself a little bit of a heads up where I want to put the paper. Normally I would pop it closer to the edge and just do it in the corner like so, but um, I'd actually put the stamps where I wanted them to be and they all lined up perfectly and that wasn't quite in the right spot. So anyways, this, is, this will work for me just fine. I'm using the, my um, shimmery white cardstock. You know I love it. I think I keep stamping up um, in business with my purchasing of shimmery white cardstock. I also love it for this particular um, card because we're going to be doing some watercolour wash. And I love the shimmery white cardstock for watercolour wash. It handles the water so much better than whisper white cardstock. And it's not as expensive as the watercolour cardstock. So therefore I can use big, big sections of it like this without feeling um, too decadent. All right. So uh, if you haven't looked at the watercolour, uh, the shimmery white paper in the catalogue, do consider purchasing that because it is a favourite. Good morning, Christy. How are you? God, you guys are tumbling on in. Lovely to see you all. Remember to give me all of the little faces down the bottom of your screen. Um, that way I can tell how you guys are feeling with the love hearts or the surprise faces or the um, little thumbs up. Don't be shy about using those. That's how that's how social media works. It's, you know, you've got to give lots of reactions to stuff. Okay, so I've just popped my shimmery white cardstock in my Stamparatus. Um, I like to use the silicon mat underneath because I think it just gives a little bit of give um, in my stamping. I like the effect of it. You don't have to use it, but I highly recommend it for um, my, my personal use. I'm using Calypso Coral. Um, I think that you could possibly use the pumpkin pie as well if you wanted that orangey look. Um, I'm going to experiment with different colours with these fish. I think that we could have all different sorts of colours. But um, that, this is the one I'm going for today. And I'm just going to turn it upside down and stamp all around like so. Now when you, um, when you stamp on, the, on this these fish you'll kind of go oh well some of it looks like it's picking up some color and some of it doesn't what's going on with that oh hey now let's have a look I've got someone in from Scotland and I'm trying Kat R uh, Katarina Katarina Katras no I'm not going to get it but welcome from Scotland how are you <laughs> I've traveled around Scotland a little bit but that um it's, uh, it's 2 a.m. in the morning. Oh, good morning, Vicky. How are you? Okay, so I've, I've inked up my stamp set. I'm sorry about butchering your name. <sighs> That's really... Oh, Katharina. <laughs> That's, yes, that's probably easier for me to manage. Okay, so I'm going to stamp that down. Now, let's have a little bow peep. Hmm. I think that's worked out quite well, but the beautiful thing with the Stamparatus is that if I want it a bit darker, I can do that. I'm going to go over it again. You can't stop me. And we go back over, we pop it down, and it's, oh, it's going to go in exactly the same spot. Da da da. That's the beautiful, I'm, I'm using my hands and you guys can't see me. Gosh. So there we are. I've stamped it twice. You could do that the old days where you just get a block and you, um, and you stamp and then you go, oh, it just wasn't quite dark enough. I'll do that again. No, but with the Stamparatus, you can definitely do that, which is the whole beauty of it, right? So let me see. Can you see the different... The different depth of colour 
some bits of that color are, are very dark some are light the texture on those little fishy is just so good I love that do you not love this stamp set like I love it or am I nuts the other thing I'm using is my new chamois my new I got this the other day and I've just popped it in one of these plastic cases they've made it exactly the right size which I think is awesome um Katharina 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 is am I saying it right now gosh I hope so okay <clears throat> so the chamois I was so excited about when I went to on stage which is a stamping up event in Sydney um, the reason why I was so excited about that is because you know I've had chamois before I went and bought some chamois from the auto shop and stuff but they weren't super soft to be honest this chamois is beautiful and soft and very thick and it's going to get in all the cracks and crevices now I have one of these beautiful stamp um, stamp and scrubs I love my stamp and scrub it is awesome I'll never giving that up but when you are inking up your stamparatus sometimes you're going to need to you want to keep going but you've got a bit too much ink on or something like that and you don't want to take your block off to your um, the stamp off to clean it then this is going to be awesome now good news bad news good news is it's awesome bad news is it's going to stain like crazy but that's just the way it is so if you have perfectionist issues you need to you need to breathe this one out because it is going to get mucky it is going to get stained and you're going to freak but you know life is messy that's just life so we're going to pop that back in there it's a little bit moist I think when that dries out um, it's going to need just a little bit of water added to it again but um, <clears throat> you know that's um that's okay they will just just be a little bit of trial and error I've, I've only had mine for a few days so I can't tell you um, if that is a hundred percent like how long it's going to stay moist for I hate that word anyways but um, that's oh I know what I've forgotten far out I knew I would forget the I need to get some tissues and leave them up at my desk this is just nuts how often I think if you guys watch me how often do I forget the tissues or the paper it would have to be just about every single video I've got. all right anyways I've got my verse mark I'm moving on I've got my verse mark and I am verse marking up my fish I feel like perhaps I'm rambling a little today I don't think I've got out a lot lately and I don't haven't spoken to as many people as I need to so anyways you poor people now you're hearing me ramble okay <clears throat> I've just got some Versa mark on there I'm going to get my embossing white powder <laughs> I think that you may have lost the plot, Catherine. Oh, now I've said, did your name completely wrong. My Angelina Jolie, my goodness me. All right, so I am going to pop some powder on there. Now the Versamark is picking up. Oh, God going everywhere some days so I've got verse mark all over that now you don't need to do this if you're going to leave your stamping exactly where it is like you're going to stamp with these beautiful fish and then you're going to you know pop a sentiment on it and that's going to be the end that's totally cool but we're doing a watercolor wash today so that's why I'm <clears throat> I'm popping some verse mark on there I should have warmed up my gun beforehand right but I didn't so now you have to wait and that's painful apologies about that so now I'm going to 
melt all of this clear embossing powder that has gone directly over our little fishy. And it's going to make them shiny and pretty. Oh, don't you love embossing powder? Has anyone not tried embossing powder? Tell me. Has anyone not? You must try it. Because it is just the most fun. The most stamping fun. You guys are quiet today. Are you enjoying watching this embossing powder? <laughs> so sometimes um, it doesn't really matter which side you go from when you go with the embossing powder from the top or the bottom. It's more entertaining, I think, seeing it um, on video from underneath. Okay, so I think all of these little dudes have been, the embossing powder has been set. You see how brilliant it comes up with the embossing powder. I just want to make sure that I've got everything melted because in a minute we're going to be putting lots of water over all of this. So I want to make sure it's all melty melty. This is where I should have bumped up the 80s music. Though if I have it up too loud, YouTube doesn't like it, so I have to keep it in the background. Okay, I think we're good. So, um, oh, I've, I've got to welcome all of my replay guests. If you're watching me on replay, welcome. Thank you for tuning in and staying with me this long with all of my ramblings. If you are watching me on YouTube, welcome. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way, when I make a video, if you miss it live, or if you, oh gosh, I've actually got a piece of my hair on there, that's just gross. Um, if you miss it, you will catch it on YouTube. Okay, so now we've got one of those. Now, this is just painter's tape. If you haven't gone to your local hardware shop and I often think the hardware people must wonder what on earth, I'm always going and buying crazy stuff like, can I have 10 washes please? Because I want to do, you know, like a shaker card or a, um, a slider card. And can I have some painter's tape please? You know, I don't paint. I just use it for card making. All right, so I'm just popping this down on a wooden board. I went to Kmart and I bought this board and it cost me a few bucks. Um, you can just, you know, steal one from your kitchen. But I think having a wooden board, um, something to stick your stamping to when you are watercolouring is a really good idea. It stops the um, cardstock from warping as much and it also means that the cardstock stays nice and flat would washi tape work? Yes, it would. But it's, um, I just think it's probably more cost effective to use the painter's tape. Um, I, I like my washi tape too much because after I do this, then I just ditch it. But for sure, um, when I first started doing this, I started using, um, I just started using washi tape. That's absolutely correct. So I've got my... Aqua painter there, it's full of water for it. Oh, I really must go get that paper, I've forgotten. Okay, guys, you get it, you just need to, you know, talk amongst yourselves for like one tenth of a second. I'll be back. See, it was super fast. The tissues weren't far away, but they were just not in reaching. Okay, so I grabbed some tissues because it's going to get all very wet and mucky here in a second. Got our little fishies ready to go. 
first thing is I'm just going to give them a little wipe like that. Now, colour wise, I got some new ink pads yesterday. Oh, not yesterday. I actually got them the other day, but yesterday was the first time I had pulled them all out. So these are the new ink pads. Um, so this is the old style ink pad and new style ink pad. I got all the new colours in the new style ink pads. Um, I'm not going to probably replace my old ones for a while because they work perfectly well and I'm happy with them. But um, anything new, I'll be getting in the new ink pad style. I'm going to be using Coastal Cabana Blueberry Bushel Bermuda Bay um, for my wash. And we'll see what happens. All right, so let's pull these out. I'm just going to open them up and pop in. I like to pop in quite a lot of water into the base there. I just squeeze my aqua painter and then it is a matter of being totally random. Now again random might not work for you if you are challenged when it comes to that sort of stuff. Some people don't like random And normally I don't either, but there is something about watercolour where you can kind of let your inhibitions go a little bit. What do you think? This is why I needed the tissue. Now I did learn from my last card that possibly the um, blueberry bushel over the writing in the middle was a little bit too much. Okay, so that's... This is the new Coastal Cabana. A little bit of water in the, in the top there. Like so. Just adds to the, got to get those different, slightly different hues in. Like so. Now I think the one I love, but the one I love the most is the blueberry bushel. I've fallen in love with this colour. It's the weirdest thing, but it's kind of like an electric blue. It's, it's yeah. All right. So now we're just gonna pop some because it's so wet. It's just oh no, not too close to the writing, Carolyn. I did that yesterday. This all mixes in beautifully together. I'm trying to and because we covered it in the Versamark and the clear um, oh look at that it's so pretty I'm getting excited about how pretty it is um, because we covered it with that Versamark and the clear embossing powder then it's not going over our fish and ruining the colours that we've made there. What do you think? How pretty? Is it not so pretty? All right, I want to get some more dark ink in there. Oh, I like it. Okay, so um, two ways you can go now. You can try and dry it as it is or you can dab off a little bit of the moisture and um, then it's going to dry a little bit quicker so let's it will unfortunately it gets a little bit paler when you do it that way which is just one of those things but it still is pretty all right let's see how we go with the heat gun See, it might just take too long on video if I just left the heat gun. This is one of those ones that maybe if you did and then you walked away and you had your coffee and um, took a little tea break and then come back to it because I've just popped so much. Not you guys. You guys can't go away and have your tea break. I'm talking about when you're making it. 
You guys have to stay and watch me for the whole time. You don't get the luxury of being able to walk away. Okay. If you if you don't use your heat gun either, it's going to be it's going to dry differently. I'm just sopping up some of that extra wetness. As you can see, it's getting lighter as it dries. For some reason, you, with watercolours, it seems like it's really dark, and then when it dries, it dries lighter, which is always weird, I think. So you often need to then come back and add some extra darkness to get that so it doesn't look too washed out. Get a bit more layers into it. This one's coming up quite differently because I'm drying it faster. It's still so pretty. Hey Phyllis. <laughs> you had to go buy a new keyboard. Crack me up. You've always got a really interesting reason why you've been held up. <laughs> Did you come up with like really great reasons why you didn't get your homework done in time? I wonder. At school, I bet. I bet you were tricky, Phyllis. You like the soft background? It does. It makes the fish stand out a little bit more. You're right, Vicky. I totally agree. You, and you know what? And the funny thing is, each time you do this, it's probably going to end up being just a tiny bit different. So, which which I like. I like that it's different each time. But I am going to add in just a little bit more of the of the darkness because I just think that adds to the fun of it and it just makes it look like that water is moving a little bit you know it's got a little bit of movement the light the dappling light I feel like we need something else in there it's too it's too light in the middle so the sentiment says Good fortune, success, prosperity, longevity, perseverance, ambition, and courage. They're all good stuff, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to just give that one more dry. It is still a little bit wetter than what I had anticipated. Hmm. I'll just soften that up a little bit. I'm wondering whether this is not going to be dry enough to mount for you guys. Oh no, I think it's coming along. Phyllis loves the background. Thank you, Phyllis. So I am going to take off my tape, which normally I'd probably wait just a little bit longer, but you know, time is working against us today. So I'm just taking off the tape, doing the back, just going to dry the back a little bit. It's two sides to paper, you can dry both sides. Okay. Alright, so there we have that, and I'll show you nice and close, see the fish is shiny. And the background is all so watercolory. Super pretty. Okay, let's mount this baby up. So I've just got um, a piece of 
the thick, oh gosh, I've got powder everywhere. I've got the thick Whisper White cardstock. I wanted it just to make sure that I had um, a nice thick base behind because even with taping it down, it still gets a little bit wonky with so much water added. You could, if you had time up your sleeve, you could pop it underneath your mat or a hard book or something just to flatten it out a little bit more. But I'm sure you guys do not want to wait around while I flatten out this card for, a, you know, an hour or so. Um, I'm just, I've popped it on a piece that is um, a few mils wider either side. See, it's really warped. That's why it's been underneath my mat for, a, I don't know, about 20 minutes, half an hour would really help. It may still end up there after this class okay hey jess how are you she's running late you guys are so cute i'm running late i'm running late um okay so i'm just popping on you know my tombow multi-purpose glue which i love you can find this in the catalog although it has got the incorrect price in the catalog it says it's one price, but it's actually $7. So just be mindful when you look at the catalogue. It's easily our catalogue corrections page, but it is actually priced at the wrong price in the catalogue. But they've issued a correction, so we have to sell it at the right price, unfortunately. Otherwise, we don't make any money. Um, okay, so there we've got... I've, I've popped this on Bermuda Bay. I just thought it kind of popped out a little bit of the colours like so as I said it will need to be flattened out a little bit the other thing that I wanted to pop on there was some of these super delicious uh, enamel dots that we've got in the catalog um, they are so beautiful they've got glitter inside of them but they're all smooth and lovely um, super pretty and I just thought even though it's like it's there's a lot going on on this card already for a one layer well it's not actually even a one layer card is it like there's lots of layers but um you know for a fairly simple card there's a lot going on but just to add a little bit of interest with the glittery enamel dots i think is kind of fun and they're pretty simple rules of threes guys if you can try and add three little things, little elements on your cards. It's always um, very satisfying for the eye to put threes. Now, I don't normally do the inside of cards for you guys online. I often do them here at home. Um, but myself, excuse me about my arm. Hey, guys. I seem to have every piece of cardstock I've picked up um, is bent. Not to worry. So I just want to pop on the inside of this card... A little panel I don't do this all the time with my white cards but with my colored cards I often do a white panel and I've just I have a bunch of them sitting on my desk they make them out of whisper white but I just pre-cut a bunch and have them sitting on my desk because this is the most boring bit the inside panel um, and I did another little fish uh, yesterday and um, cut that one out and I was didn't know what I was going to use it for so I thought well, actually wouldn't it be pretty just to put that on the inside and then if I have a special occasion I can always stamp like a happy birthday or something on the inside um, otherwise I've got if I just want to write something a nice little note to somebody then it's kind of ready to go and I, I like that my cards are fully completed and ready to go so look how pretty that looks with the little shimmer on it there we are. So what do you think? Do you like all the good things stamp set? It, I, I loved it as soon as I saw it. That's the one I made yesterday. That's the one I made today. Different, but same kind of, same kind of thing. What do you think? Is this going to go on your list? Adorable to put the fish inside. I think, yeah, I did it on, I think I did it on both. Yeah. There you go. 
I hope you liked this card. I hope you like my class today. Remember, you can purchase your Stampin' Up! items from me. That's, um, that's how I can keep doing these videos, is if people go and purchase their products from me here in Australia. Otherwise, I can't keep going. Um, but uh, if you'd like to purchase your Stampin' Up! products from me, head over to my blog, carolynbenny.com and uh, make sure you check that stuff out leave me comments ask me questions that is what i do i'm here to answer your questions so there you go i'm back <laughs> it stopped I was going to say it stopped raining. It hasn't stopped raining. It is still raining. But I hope you enjoyed um, these this card today. I hope you enjoyed my video today. And I will be back next week. My kiddos are home next week, so it could get crazy. But um, that's pupil free day. I love them. But I will see you next Friday for another card making. And I hope you have a fabulous week in between time. Go check out my blog, carolynbenny.com. Uh, my team, the Midnight Inklings, have got a fabulous blog hop that is going live Sunday evening. So make sure you check that out because I've got some incredibly talented people in my team and they're going to really blow you away with some beautiful work that they're doing. Um, but I will see you again next week here on Facebook Live and have a fabulous weekend.